Michael to uh, talk about some of the uh, the free read development in the, um, in the along the Silk Road. Hello. Hi. What a great turnout. Squeeze box. <laughs> and uh, to expand on something Jamie said earlier, what's amazing for me, the, the unique quality of all the people here and their backgrounds and their instruments and the traditions that they've drawn is what initially sucks me right in. And I'm like, I, I can't get enough of everybody and it's all scattered. But once you get in there and, and kind of start harmonizing, all the, the similarities start to come, the connections start to be made. And just up here, there's some amazing things that, that, fascinated, that fascinated to me because they relate to my instrument. The harmonium here is related to the accordion, as you can probably tell, it has a bellows, which means this provides your air here, and it either draws in the air or you push the air through three reeds that are vibrating inside the instrument. So both these instruments work on the same principle, a free reed vibrator. Now the free reed instruments, the, the, the oldest uh, free reed instruments come from the east. And we're lucky to have Yachty here today because the, the grandfather of the, of the accordion uh, is called the Shen. Oh, well, that's Shen. Am I pronouncing that right? That's here, Shen. Shen. In so China for 3,000 years. 3,000 years. Yes. <laughs> Same, same process here. Yeah. So thank you very much today. <laughs>